Good day, good sirs. This is Rom, and oh, what the heck are you doing? This is Train Simulator? Like, seriously? So, true story. I, I have I have a problem. I, I have a real problem. It, it's, it's uh, I don't know if there's a specific name for it. It's, it's, it translates roughly into, whenever there is Steam sale, I will buy things. And I must have bought this oh, a couple of years ago when it was like three pounds. And I was like, ah, what the heck? So I think I played it a few times and was like, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's sort of strangely relaxing, sort of watching the world move past. The problem is now that I just take far too many trains in real life, that I really get the benefit of Train Simulator by actually going on trains. Now, I'm going to be, now I know a lot of people are very passionate about trains, and, and I, can't, I do kind of like trains. I, 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 I think they're kind of a novel way to travel. I think they're great. I don't like it when they're late, particularly. So I'm not going to, you know, bash on the, the many passionate fans of trains out there. Um, you know, I'm very passionate. But anyway, so I thought, right, okay, how can I make an interesting video? And I've thought, speed challenge? Got it in one. Uh, and I thought, what route should I... Maybe because the, with the version I've got, this is uh, 2014, but I think it comes with some older scenarios. I can't quite remember. Um, but I was I was thinking about it and thought, hey, well, this week, uh, my hometown of Reading uh, has celebrated the opening of its brand new station. So I thought, why not a journey involving going to Reading? So uh, this this version does come with with such a such a route. Um, I'm not going to go through the game in any great detail. I'll sort of explain my specific challenge and why there's a why there's a timer in the corner. Um, but uh, let's click on drive here. Um, they've been expanding this game like every year for like goodness knows how long. You can do things like free roam, you know, do what you like. There's a career there's a career mode, you know. Uh, quick drive, which is what we're going to be doing. There's some tutorials as well there, and uh, some additional scenarios. Look, there's a ton of extra content. Um, what we're going to do? Control expert. Control method simple. Expert control. Expert. I'm an expert. Even though it's actually, it's actually been a while since I fired this up, um, but I'm pretty sure if we go into quick drive, I'm pretty sure that yes. Uh, you can do the Great Western, Great Western Main Line between Paddington and Reading, which is great. Um, so, what is the challenge? The challenge is this: to get from aforementioned Paddington to Reading as fast as possible. Um, I think, from memory serving, I think the rough time to get there is 30 minutes. I'm going to see if we can do it in half the time. Yes, that's right. I'm going to demonstrate how we can get from Paddington to Reading in 15 minutes. This is never going to happen, of course. Now, the other thing is that this is going to be a passion to trade. Now, I'm going to select my train. Now, as far as I'm aware, I mean, a lot of these trains are like American trains, and I don't even know what half of them. The only two trains I recognise are this one here. The this is the one that I, I get on quite often, but also the high-speed trains. Um, so I think I mean, th th these are both diesel, but I think this one's faster. I think isn't it the Intercity One Two Five? Because it was like 125 miles an hour or something. Uh, livery. Oh, so that's, that's like the classic one. I oh, see. That's how I know them now. How I know them today. So, um, now we're going to edit the train, I think, because although it's going to be a speed, so this is going to be a speed challenge. Now I don't actually want any carriages on it, do I really? Because they're just going to cause all sorts of problems. But I want to take some passengers. So I'm taking the back off. Um, it's like eight, eight carriages, I think, on these trains. So we don't want that. Take that off. Take that off. 
Okay, so we've got a basic train. So we've got the front end there. We've got a bit in the middle where we can put some passengers. It's 40 meters. And there are no problems. No problems. Uh, name. Uh, we are going to name this train Boris. Sure. So we now have a high speed train in Efkua. First Great Western. Uh, blue. So that's my train. Boris the train. Okay. Now. We need to select our environment. And actually, the environment it's selected for me is, is almost exactly what the conditions are outside. Um, but I think we'll keep it. Um, make it about six o'clock. Six o'clock seems like a reasonable time. It's actually now you can of course make it like stormy and snowy and snow in the middle of summer. That would be interesting. Um, but I think for this first run, we're just going to keep it cloudy with a bit of sun. That sounds uh, that sounds great. So I'll confirm that. And uh, now we will... Let's just go into it and uh, I'll see if I can remember how to drive a train. Hey, it's not easy, okay? You know, trains, that they're, they're complicated, you know, beasts. And uh, yeah, the loading screen takes a while, so we might have to... Oh, no! No. Right. Aha! So... Our destination is Reading 8. What happened to the other seven Reddings? Um, I don't know. Uh, it says it's 35 miles away. So that should give you a rough indication. Now it says here, aha, ETA, ETA. There's a little thing there. You probably can't see it, but I can see it. It says it will take approximately 28 minutes. Screw that. S screw that for... A you know, a bucket of bananas. Um, so here's my here's my choo choo train. It's at uh, London Paddington. I was there a few weeks actually. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was there. It's a very nice station. Uh, so I can look out the window and go, "Hey!" Stick my tongue out and go, "Meow." Uh, once I can figure out how to make the train move. Um, there's all sorts of. You know, let's go back into the into the. What do, what do you call these? Cockpit. Um. Oh. oh, oh there's a there's a phone. Uh. Help. Okay. Um. Uh, ear protection. Where ear protectors? It's protected with a what? Firing? A gaseous fire extinction? Oh, boring. Um. A bell. Ah, that's the emergency system. The, the, uh, yeah, yeah, I know that thing. It's um, when we, if if we go like through a red light or something, that thing just automatically tries to put the brakes on, and so I'd be like, no, I do not want the brakes. Um, but uh, like, like all good all good train journeys, we'll, we'll do a special announcement. Hang on. <coughs> Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, this train's going to Reading, if you're lucky. Uh, please board now, and, uh, and we will go. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, right. Um, light. Put the lights on. Yeah, no, we did. What's that? I'm putting coal in. Okay. Ah, that's 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 what we want. Okay. And right, so that's the throttle. I think that's the that's the beep. That's the beep machine. Um. Shush. Right. Um. Alright, well, let's, right, let's put that forward, and, yeah, that's where you want to, you know, like, you want to go forward or backward? Uh, 
and that's the brakes so we've released the brakes okay so here we go with speed challenge London to Reading in five four three two one start the clock and go okay throttles going and we're off we are in a choo choo train and we are going places and uh, stick my head out the window yeah it's an incredible amount of detail in this game I call it a game it's more a kind of curiosity and uh, oh, uh, um, already we are speeding. Now that I'm going to ignore. Bing. I, I never quite know what the bing means. I think it, I think it means you're good. Um, but yeah, so like here, that's how fast we are going, I think, and and that's the speed limit. And whoa, we're ready with yeah. So we're going at seventy. And we really shouldn't be you know, much beyond 40. It's going to make it interesting when... Um, I don't think there's any like big... Ter it's mostly a straight run. But like for example here, if we switch tracks here, it would be a bit dicey. Oh, okay. Okay, keep going. Um, there's also a little, there's a little bit of a frame rate issue. Uh oh, pants. Right, keep going. So we're going past some st stations. So the speed limit here is 50. It's about now, see, look, uh -huh, uh -huh, it's about to turn into 100 because there's the thing down here, look. So we're about to hit a 100 zone and then we can just relax. Yep, yeah, 100 zone. Uh, so we're going past some station. The next station is, what's that, Old Oak Common East something? Maybe? I, I don't know. It says we're going to get to Reading at 18.29. Okay, well, no. I want to be there much faster. I uh, don't know where the turbos are. Um, my screen's all messed up. I like the, the big screen like this. Yeah, that's that's actually better. That's actually right. Um, what have we got? What else can we do? Because we're about to hit 125 miles an hour, and then that's just well, forget it. You know, you just like I don't know what that is. It's like a radar, and oh, the the thing's gone into like the red zone over there. Is that a bad thing? Probably. Probably a bad thing. It's like hello station. Yeah. Right, 125. Right, I'll just put my feet up now. So, oh, oh, a bit of frame rate. Um, Ealing Broadway. Yes, yes. That's the next station. Uh, let's stick our head out. Yeah. Ooh. Where's the horn? Where's the horn? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Uh, what else? What's that? Trackside camera. Uh, oh, hello. What's going on there? That's underneath the platform of the station? Ah, here I go. Like my half train on the... What a lovely fence. Lovely fence. And, oh, there's a station there. That's West Ealing. Screw you, West Ealing. Don't want you. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Right, let's... What's that? Don't know what that is, but we're going to 133. Alternate view. Oh, look at that! I'm in the other chair. Yes, yeah, screw that chair. I don't want that chair. This chair's much better. Because it's got a fire button. Doesn't do anything. Um, oh, light switch. No. No. 
Okay. Looking very good. Uh, so we've got helicopter. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, look, there's people. People in the train. They are mad fools. And there's me. Oh, can I zoom in on... Wow, I look happy. I'm very happy. Um, I'm not paying much attention to where we're going or what we're doing, because the train pretty much just drives itself, you know. It's like, train drives like the easiest job in the world, right? Uh, what's that one? Oh, that's, uh, oh look, there's all the people! Wow, they've got some medical issues in there. Yep. And there's, uh, Bob Carroll juice in the, in the back there. Uh, and you, uh, give yourself, uh, some points if you remember him. We're still speeding. That's a coupling camera. Ooh. Well, that's probably the most useful camera angle of the lot, because, you know, you need to make sure those windscreen wipers are, are, are running. Um. Oh, aeroplane view. Aeroplane. Now, look at, look at the detail in that. Look, it's like they've got the roads and the individual houses. I don't even want to fathom and guess how long it took to... You know, actually look at the actual, you know, sort of road systems around and where the railways go, you know, and try and work it all out. It's very neat. Uh, that, that's, uh, oh. Um. Oh. Um. Apparently we didn't uh, need the train at all. Oh, I just turned the throttle down accidentally there. Um, so, welcome to a game whereby I'm, I am suspended in mid-air above a train track. It's, uh, it's, it's a great game. Um, and, oh, oh, it... Uh, ah, yes, the game, I think, is running out of memory. So it wants, it wants, it's dragging me back. But it's like, you can sort of pretend you're sort of flying around but um, yes even though there is quite a lot of detail there's also an awful lot of creative well not because you wouldn't look at this normally would you these sorts of random housing estates that are sort of yes anyway right uh, back into my cockpit and next row uh, can't actually go into the into the train. That's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Can't get in the train. But who needs that when you can look like this? Choo choo, mother. Ch anyway, fifteen. Fifty? No, no. One hundred twenty-five, sir. One hundred twenty-five, sir. I'm travelling 135, but that's not the point. And that's Langley! Hi, Langley. Um, wow. Really not much else to do, is there? Oh, look at those, all those houses. Oh, what's that? Fucking like noise. Maybe it was the turbo kicking in. I don't know. Um... Oh no, it's slough. Slough. We're approaching slough. Um, uh, I, like, I quite like this view. It's like, oh, oh no, hang on. Let me open. Yeah, that's it. Slough, look at it. Bob Cowgees. Joanna Lumley. There's not many trains where you'd find both of them together. And, uh... Yeah, not much... Not much to really say about the rest of them, other than, uh... I guess that's what happens when, 
Maybe they're from Southampton. Maybe that's, that's what it is. I, I do like the fact that it's just like, you know, you get on board this train, it's like, oh, maybe I want to go and see where the buffet car is. And you walk through there and like, ah, sucker. Uh, it's quite funny. Now, at some point, in 16 miles or so, uh, we are going to want to put the brakes on. Now, if I overshoot Reading Station, that's a fail. It's a fail. So, we've got to make sure we apply the brakes. I'm just going to literally put the emergency brake on, I think, because that just takes you to a, a full stop. Probably... About two miles out, maybe? What's the stopping distance on a, one of these trains? Hang on, let's get Google. Um, help. Oh no. I've broken the recording. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, no. That's, that's time against me. Time against me. Right, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. So you can subtract like five seconds off of whatever this final thing turns out to be. Um, we've got 14 miles to Reading. And we haven't had to go through any red lights yet, which is great news. Yeah, I'm sort of looking at the recording on this, and it's very sort of choppy. It, uh, I don't know, I don't know why it's like that. I think it's just probably because just the um, sheer amount of textures and polygons it's having to render. It's it's quite a lot. Uh, coming up on Maidenhead, so that's it's not very far away. Um, But yeah, you know, I mean, if you want something that's a, a sort of screensaver. Ooh, look at that. See, that's cool. Then maybe maybe you want, might want to pick this up if you just really like trains. I, I like trains, but, but not this much, you know, of course. I'm, I'm doing this for something, something fun to try out. So we're still speeding. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick sip of water. Maidenhead. Twelve minutes to get to Maidenhead, so that already feels like it's been quite fast. We've got to get to Reading in two and a half minutes, and we've got eleven miles to go. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be pretty close indeed. Turn the windscreen wipers off. For this sake. Do 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 do. Bing. I always assume that means good things. It's like, whoa, no! Ow! Spray, I don't really need that. Electric shock rescue and treatment. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. How to do artificial people are rarely killed outright by electric shock. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, they can be saved if you follow these instructions. Act quickly but do not panic. Hmm. Interesting. And that's a cock and valve diagram. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 don't do that, right, oh, oh no, right, I'm going to have to concentrate now, because uh, that means that there was a, there was a light, there was a red light or something, what, I can't see what's in front, what colour is that light, is this good light or bad light, what colour is it, I think that's green, that's, that's a green light, that is actually a green light, we are safe, phew, phew, Coming up on Reading, we've got seven miles to go, and I don't think we're going to get there in 15 minutes, but... Hey, we're giving it a damn, damn good go. Coming up to Twyford. In case you didn't know, that is the United Kingdom. It's a bit wonky, I must admit.
Well, the alarm didn't go off. So, it's like I've got zoom vision. Well, it's about to be 15 minutes. We've got five miles to go. So, some point, if I had a faster train, I don't. I think this is the fastest train you can get on this route, and I think you could probably do it. Uh oh, this is going to be. No, it's still 125. Oh. Now, of course, coming into Reading is going to be the the main kicker here because, um, well. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the brakes on as soon as I see the word Reading appear here. As soon as I see Reading Station, the brakes go on. I reckon that will just about do it. Because that gives us about a mile and a half worth of braking zone. Or maybe we'll just decrease the throttle and then see. I don't know. Nah, we want to brake. We want to brake as late as possible. Still going. Come on. Come on. Okay, green lights. Ah, 50, 50 and a 40, so. Uh, uh oh, okay. Um, put the brakes on. Emergency brake on. Shush. Right, we are slowing down, but very slowly. Uh oh. Are we going to slow down in time? I don't know. It's going to be quite rough. Shush. It's a flashing yellow light. That means I don't know. means whatever. Keep going. I don't want to fall short of Reading, and I think we might. Driving a train's hard. Shush. Um. Release the brake. Go. There we go. We're going. We're going. We're going. Come on. Okay, half a mile out. Right, then we put the brakes on. I don't know when. Now. Here comes the platform. Are we going to slow down in time? Oh, this is going to be close. We're going to slow down in time, but we've got to make sure we're actually on the platform. Come on. Come on. There we go. Excellent. I'm slowing down. I can almost stop the clock. Welcome to Reading. This is nothing like what Reading Station looks like now. Looks completely different. Oh, come on. And. Reading. So that took 18 minutes. Less than 20. Well. Wow. I think we've all had some fun here today. I know I have. Uh, don't worry. Um, this may well be the end of this particular video. I don't think we'll, we need to revisit it. So anyway, well, that's uh, that's uh, Train Simulator. Again, if you like trains, you'll love it. I've been Rom. I will see you in the next game thing, whatever. Bye-bye.